Now we can look at what happens when we transition away from our start state. What conditions will result in a string that is not accepted by our automaton? From our definition, that would be a string that contains three or more b's in a row. Therefore, we need to add more states. One for one b in a row, named one. One for two b's in a row, named two and one for three or more b's in a row, named three. We can connect them with b transitions. Each transition represents an increment of the number of b's in a row by one. What can we interpret from these new states? We know from our definition that if there are zero, one, or two b's in a row, that string so far is still acceptable. Therefore, we can call states 1 and 2 accepting states also. We get to state 3 after 3 B transitions in a row, so this must be our non-accepting state. No matter what character we put in after this, we already know that there have been 3 Bs in a row, and so the string is not acceptable. Let's show this by adding a loop transition back to state 3, and calling that A B. Both A and B follow this transition. State 3 can also be called a trap state, as once we get there, there is no transition out again.